revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros radio show. Kind of like that, that moniker, America's home for positive business talk. Absolutely. Of course, we're still uh, praying, keeping all of our friends in Houston in our prayers. Absolutely. And we'll continue. Of course, you know, Florida's buckling down now right. with another one coming mm-hmm. on down. You see that? Mm-hmm. I actually, I was on Twitter last night uh, and it talked about, you know, fires, fires, floods, floods, hurricanes, and it's just kind of a state of disaster yeah. all across the country. And so just keep everybody in, in your prayers. Let's talk about how do we connect with people. These days, it feels like, yes, we are super connected. You have access to anybody you'd ever want to interact with, thanks to social media and the internet. Right, they're on Twitter. They're on Instagram. You can Snapchat with them. You can right. find them on LinkedIn. They've got a, a Facebook page. Anybody you'd want to be connected with, you sure. can find. However, mm. people are feeling really disconnected. They feel invisible. They feel unheard. They feel as if you know, you know, they let's, don't matter. They don't matter. Let's let's post this so I can prove that people are paying attention mm-hmm. to me. But being connected isn't about the number of likes you get on a social media post or, you know, it isn't about volume. It's really feeling like you've got somebody you could call on uh, that, that you could reach out to that when they needed something, they would call on you. And, and so it's not just always business, it's life. So here's a couple of connect uh, tips for how you can connect with people and just be, just be available. And be more aware of the impact that you have in with other people because we are far more in fact impactful than we give ourselves credit sure. for. Sure. And because we're just doing it all the time. And so first one is to be present. Mm. And and that means not being distracted and having a thousand other things going on when you're in a conversation with somebody. Right. And you know, to have your phone or to be, you know, have 13 tabs open, to have your phone dinging all the time when you're in a conversation with somebody else, you know, be truly present with where you are. Right. And what does this look like in in um on social media? You get the likes, you get the comments, do you engage with them? Nope. Nope. I'm just counting them. <laughs> refresh, refresh. How many more we got? Right. How many more we got? Okay. 17 people liked that. Did you reach out to those 17 people Thank either them. on their page in a yeah. private message or even in a reply right then and there? You know, uh, when, when I worked for, uh, that, that major coffee cup corporation out of Seattle, mm-hmm. uh, one of the things that they said was always when you hand off the coffee to, to the guest, always, Look them in the eye and say, thank you. Because that little bit of engagement actually increases your sales and their rate of return 278%. Eye contact. Right? Somebody walked by not too long ago and kind of gave me the wave, but didn't even look. I'm yeah. Like, okay. Eye contact, people. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I'm still doing my thing. Eye contact. So in the social media sphere, that looks like a reply to a comment. Yes. Thank you for your comment. Thanks for engaging. It's nice to see you. I, you know, I, I just I just wrote somebody and I said, it's so nice to see your name pop up on my inbox because somebody had liked one of my things, my, one of my posts. Right. And I know you think, oh, I don't have time for 17 conversations. Make time. <laughs> Do it's you want to be connected? Right. <laughs> you can't have it both ways. Yeah. All right. How about this one? Pay attention to your intuition. Have you ever felt like if somebody ever come to mind and you've thought, oh my gosh, it's been a long time since I've heard from that person. Uh, you know, I was just thinking about them. They came to mind. I heard a song. I saw something that reminded me of them. Pay attention to your intuition you and bet. reach out to them. It's not a coincidence. And so often, and I've heard this by many other speakers as well. Sure. Talk about, I, you know, I was thinking about somebody. I picked up the phone or I sent them a text. And the timing was amazing. It's exactly what they needed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you know, uh, one could get all spiritual and say the Lord works in mysterious ways. It doesn't have to be mysterious. The Lord just works. Just when you somebody comes to mind, reach out to them and tell them. It doesn't mean you've got to commit to anything. I was standing in line behind a lady at the coffee counter uh, a couple of days ago. And, and this lady was so beautiful and immediately intimidated by her, her aesthetic beauty. But what was really beautiful she kept looking back 
to see her son sitting uh, there with a box of a dozen donuts. Mm -hmm. And he had one and he was just munching down while Shamama was getting her coffee. And she just kept looking back and her smile and the love that was evident between her son, Mm -hmm. her and her son. So when I walked out and left, I I made it a point to stop there. And I said, I got to let you know how beautiful it is Mm -hmm. to see your obvious love and connection to your son Mm -hmm. and just have a good day. And I'm gone. And I know that made a difference because there was a connection. You know, there is. And you can be connected. How often do we wait for somebody to call us? Nobody's called me. Nobody's asked me out. Nobody's reached. I always have to be the one to initiate the conversation. Maybe you do. And that's okay. Set the example. Set the tone. Don't sit there and wallow in your poopy diaper and go, nobody called me. Right. The phone works both ways. That's exactly right. And so if you're thinking of somebody, call them and don't be a baby about it. And then finally, fill your own cup. Take care of you. Because if you're feeling frustrated about you always reaching out to people, that probably means your tank is empty. Right. And you haven't filled your cup. You haven't done, you haven't relaxed. You haven't done anything for self care. You haven't done anything you, you know, something you just love to do right. that takes your mind off of work or the, the stresses of life. How can you love others if you can't honestly look in the mirror and say that you love yourself? Oh, right. It's very deep. Eric. Well, you know, I've been playing it in the deep end for a while. Mm. Uh, and, and I, I really think that that's, that's, there's something there that you, you have to take care of yourself. You have to feel good about yourself. And if you can't, at least if you don't right now, surround yourself with the people who will provide a positive experience. That's what the Experience Pros Radio Show is all about. Because you turn to mainstream media and what do you hear? You hear all about the murders. You hear all about the, the market crash. You hear all about the people done, somebody done wrong, right? Stop that. Find somebody who's going to lift you up. Right. So who you hang out with is of utmost importance to fill your cup. If you've got people that are always complaining, they're just always negative, always bringing you down, kind of uh, shooting down your ideas and your dreams. You need to you. You can't always fire your family. You can't always get away from all the negativity. So what you have to do is is combat it with positivity you know, yeah. overflow with something positive to overwhelm the negative that's coming into your world. Put positive in. But if you are finding yourself frustrated at people, anxious, kind of yelling, kind of angry, stressed out, then look at what you're doing to take care of you. Mm. It's not up to somebody else. It's your job to fill your cup and make sure that you're feeling fulfilled. And it's our job to remind you of that. So don't hesitate to tune in on a regular basis and get your booster shot of positive business talk right here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. We're going to take a quick break for the top of the hour news, and then hour number two comes next. Tim, thanks for listening, brother. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing. 